Hi guys and welcome to this Living With A Pace Pinker week 30.5. Point 0.5 means is where I've actually missed off things that I wanted to cover in the first part of this. Now as this is point 0.5 of this edition, I just want to clarify this now and I want to repeat this now that I am not gay. But I am comfortable around gay people, bisexual people, straight people, but pansexual people. End of the day, you could be any sexuality that you want to be, or any colour, or race, or... I know that's the same thing, or religion. The reason why I'm actually doing this video is to honour the gay people that are actually in my city and other cities around the world that will probably be watching this. I just want to clarify this now that I, as a straight person, taking a big step for me to work in the, the gay community. What I mean by working in the gay community is that I've had my first interview in my first ever gay venue. Now, here's the thing that I want to stress to every one of you guys is this. That I hope I get this job, not because it pays, because it's a great atmosphere to work. People may stereotype the gay community in my city and everyone else's city, but it's okay to be gay because I'm comfortable in my sexuality to know enough to what being gay is, being bi is, or, or being lesbian or whatever. You can be whatever you want to be. I know it's a tough topic to talk about from a straight man's point of view, I've had people in the gay community I've made friends with of going out clubbing in past years in the gay community. So to have them take set me a part of it is great. To making that working relationship with the gay community to serve them drinks or be friendly with them or whatever. Not that sort of friendly before anyone thinks. Just to accept who they are. If they can accept me for who I am, it's my way of repaying them to be accepted in there. So it's very interesting to um, have this dynamic of mindset since I've had all my life and taking those big steps. Because I can remember when I first got in the bar industry when I was 18 years old. Yes, I went on in the bar industry since I was 18. Now I'm 36. And I can remember the days when they never advertised jobs publicly. This proves how much times have changed since the, the year when I was 18 to the age of I am now. They never used to advertise the jobs publicly. They had to be word of mouth or you pretty much had to do anything to get the jobs. Stereotypical, I know, but it's true. Numerous venues have done it. Not saying the ones in my city, hey, they may have done that. But... To see them advertising it on Indeed, this is proves how proud I am of people, of proud who they are. You could be gay, bi, lesbian. End of the day, you are who you are and you who makes you are. And that, that made a massive impact on me. Seeing that advertisement, I thought, you know what, I'm going to apply, see if I get an interview. Three days later, I got the interview. I don't know if I got the job yet, but... I can surely say to you guys, hands down, I'm so proud of the people that are in the gay community in my city to do something like that. Like, um, when they ask me like the usual questions, um, are you available to start straight away? Are you flexible? Or for hours, I mean, before anyone judges. You know, and then when they point out, do you realise this is a late night gay bar? You know, so the consent when you're straight, like myself, it doesn't bother me. Like I told him, it doesn't bother me. I, I respect, I even told him at the interview, I respect the gay community down to a T, how much it's changed over the years. And I got a lot of respect for that. Obviously, you weren't the landlady of the pub or the bar or the club or whatever, the boss, the big cheese, what people want to say. Because it's just 
it just such an eye opener, a refreshing change to see that in 2018 compared to how it was when I first started this industry that I work in, worked in since the age of 18. So it just proves how people are out and proud nowadays compared to how it used to be. Yeah, granted, there's a lot of people out there still against the gay community. But what have they done to you to be against them? Not bringing babies into this world? People can adopt this day and age, if you didn't know. I really hope to God I get that job. You know, that or a trial shift, just to see what I can actually do. And it blows my fucking mind to think that people are so out and proud, and it's so good to see. You know? I am not one of these people that's in the closet. I know I'm 100% straight. I can go and damn to it. But I'm not against anyone. So I just thought... I'll mention this on a separate video. Yes, I got the interview out of the blue like two days ago. And I got the interview at 2 o'clock this afternoon as of this recording, before the England game. That's why I'm wearing what I'm wearing. I've only just got back and even though I've walked in the hot weather, the biscuit hot sun melting my back, it just proves how great this world is. To see when they could actually advertise now publicly on an open forum on a website, you know that just proves how that, that just baffles me, and proves how passionate people are. Just to find staff here, yeah, granted, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm really, really looking forward to hoping to get that job. You know, to make that next step to. Broaden my horizons, if you want to say. But anyway, guys. That's just today's update for you guys. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. But until next time. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. So you'll be in and updated any time when I do any videos for you guys. Here on YouTube.com. But until next time, guys, catch you guys soon.